Guys, deluded, I'm back again now. Yashin Adli, Yashin Adli, however you pronounce his name. In the latest twist of Willy Wonty, will he stay at PSG and sign a new deal after being given assurance of, of first team football? Or is he going to sign for Arsenal after allegedly being been, been wowed by Mislin Tite, who wanted him since um, his Dortmund days? His agent lives in London, I believe. And obviously, Arsenal first team chances more so than, than PSG. We might not be as competitive as them. So, yeah, it does look like a coup. I mean, regardless, I'm happy for the player because I believe if this is white and black and we're just looking at his potential and his talent, he can go all the way. I've spoken about him. I'm not just saying that. You've seen it from last year. You've seen it. Um, he was spotted in London today as well. Like, he was spotted in London. Now, his agent lives in London, allegedly. So, he's probably there to see his agent. There's talk of. Um, the PSG sporting director has now convinced him to stay at the club and he'll sign a new a three-year deal. Um, obviously, he'd probably be given a show. I, I don't really think you can assure a young player, especially a player at PSG, but he must have been given some sort of promises in regards to being integrated more into the first team, more of a looking, more of a chance. I mean, this is the latest line of this saga and if he's going to come, great. I love the player, but you guys know me. I'm pessimistic on signings anyway, so it doesn't faze me. I just don't like this sort of nonsense. The last time this sort of stuff was reported, he came out and he he, he put that Instagram thing of you guys just talk, you don't know what you're talking about um, in French or something like that. That could actually ironically mean I was always staying at PSG. I was never coming to Arsenal. Or it could mean I'm staying for Arsenal. Or the theory that I'm talking about in the sense that he's in London and allegedly PSG have convinced him to stay and he's here to see his agent, not an Arsenal official, could be it. It's a great player and we can add him to the we tried list. If, Like I said, if it's just based on potential, he's going all the way and I want him to be a great player, man. Like, he's, he's quality. Like, I'm not going to sit here again and list his good things and his bad things, but if he isn't going to sign for the club, it's a shame because it would have been some coup, especially with Torreira allegedly coming to the club again. We have to keep our fingers crossed for that because until he's holding the Arsenal shirt, I can't believe them things. But yeah, allegedly this move is off. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of French-based, reliable French-based um, stations report it. So, yeah, man, that's another one off the list. So, yeah, we continue and we move forward. And, yeah, while we missed out on a great player, it's not the end of the world. And we move forward. And as an Arsenal fan, you're used to this. So on that note, like I said, it's not a long vid. Guys, deluded. Comment, subscribe and do the rest. I'm out.